In this video, we're going to use Newton's second law of motion to try to figure out which direction an object will accelerate if it's subject to three forces in the horizontal direction. So the first thing, we're looking for the object's acceleration. And this is going to be our coordinate system. And we're only going to consider forces acting in the x direction for this example. So if the first force acting on this object is pulling this object in the positive x direction, and we'll label this force F1, and we'll denote it as a vector, and that force is equal to 50 newtons. Now suppose we have another force pulling on this object in this direction, we'll call this force 2, and we'll denote it as a vector, and let's say that this force is equal to 30 newtons. And then we're going to have one more force acting on this object, pulling it in the opposite direction, and we'll call this force F3, and this force will have a magnitude of 40 newtons. The question now is, in which direction is this object going to start to accelerate? Which direction are these forces going to cause this object to move? Because forces cause objects to accelerate in the direction of the net external force. So what we need to do is we need to figure out what the net force is. Sometimes we write it as the sum of the forces, and it's a vector term. Or sometimes we write it as F subscript net to indicate the net force acting on the object. Now in this case, there are three forces acting on this object. There's force one, force two, and force three. So what we're going to do is we're going to add up all three of those forces. And remember, they're vector terms indicating that they have both magnitude and direction. So F1 plus force two plus force three. Now in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to add force one. Force one has a magnitude of 50 newtons, and it's being pulled in the positive x direction. And then we're going to add to that force F2, which has a magnitude of 30 newtons. And to that, we're going to add force F3, which has a magnitude of 40 newtons, but it's being pulled in the negative x direction. So I'm going to indicate that by writing negative 40, indicating it's being pulled in the negative x direction. And I should have, for clarity, put a negative sign in here to indicate that it's being pulled in the negative x direction. So the magnitude of the force is 40 newtons, and the direction in which it's being pulled is in the negative x direction. Now the next step is to add up all the forces. In this case, 50 newtons plus 30 newtons works out to be 80 newtons. And then you're going to add negative 40 newtons. And this works out to be 80 newtons plus a negative 40 newtons, which works out to be 80 minus 40, or a total force, a net force, of 40 newtons. So if we look back up at our object, there's going to be a net force acting on this direction, causing this object to accelerate off in this direction. And the magnitude of that force is going to be a force of 40 newtons, and it's going to be pushing or pulling this object in the positive x direction. Remember, forces are applied to objects in two ways, either by pushing on them or pulling on them. Now if we suppose that this object has a mass of 4 kilograms, we can figure out how fast this object is going to accelerate. So let's take a look at that. So if we look at Newton's second law, which says that if you add up all the forces acting on an object, it's going to equal the mass of the object times the acceleration of the object. Now in this case, we figured out the net force. We figured out the total force causing this object to accelerate in the positive x direction. We know the mass of this object. So now all we have to do is solve for the acceleration to figure out how fast this object is speeding up. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides of this equation by the mass term. What you do to one side of an equation, you do to the other side. And then what you'll see is this term here cancels out with this term here. And we now have an expression for the acceleration of this object as the sum of the forces divided by the mass of the object. Now in this case, the net force acting on this object in the positive x direction was a force of 40 newtons. And we're going to divide that by the mass, which we said was 4 kilograms. Now when you divide 40 by 4, you get the number 10. So 40 divided by 4 is 10. And then when you divide a newton divided by a kilogram, you get a unit of a meter per second squared. So this object's acceleration, when a net force of 40 newtons is applied to it, is going to be 10 meters per second per second. And if we look back up here, this object's going to accelerate in this direction. And in this case, it's going to be a magnitude of 10 meters per second squared off in the x direction, the positive x direction. And again, notice that the net force in the acceleration are in the same direction. That's exactly what Newton's second law says. 